Hi everyone, my name is Carlos A. Santiago and I'm a graduate of CSI's Advanced Certificate of Public History program and I want to take you through a little bit of my journey and how I ended up at CSI and the outcomes of going through a program such as this one. Um, just for a little background, I got my BA in history at the University of Buffalo. I got my MA in history at Brooklyn College. And, you know, I'm, I'm very similar to many history majors out there. You know, I was an aspiring academic. I didn't really know what other direction to go. It was either become an academic or become a teacher. I didn't know there were other paths other than that for a history major. And it really took me to fail during the PhD application process uh, to explore other paths because at the time I didn't even know that the world of public history even existed. You know, after advice from a professor I checked out the National Council for Public History website, and I found out that CSI had a public history program. At the time, I figured, why not? This could help me figure out another path. I wanted to contribute to history in a meaningful way, but I didn't know how to do that outside of the academy. Um, and, you know, my decision was made much simpler due to the fact that I can get a great education at CSI without the NYU and Pratt Institute price tag, which honestly would have tripled or quadrupled the amount of money that I would have borrowed um, for school. So, you know, a after having borrowed for Buffalo and Brooklyn College, I, I really couldn't afford to go into more debt. I'm you know, in the end, I'm glad I made the decision to attend this program. The faculty treated me with open arms and I learned about history and the profession itself from a, a, a completely different perspective. You know, everything wasn't necessarily being applied from the lens of student, professor, and documents we're analyzing in class or at home. It, it, went, it went beyond that. It's, we were tackling questions about how history exists outside of the classroom and how communities are contributing to this field in ways that are essentially different from how academics are um, creating and writing history. I, I, that, that's something I desperately needed in, in moving forward and getting some ideas, uh, into where I was going to fit in this world. Uh, soon after taking a few classes, I ended up being an intern at the New York Genealogical and Biographical Society or the NYGMB for short. And I also got to intern at the National Archives at Bowling Green in downtown Manhattan. Both of these experiences were, uh, like no other, I got to digitize key genealogical documents, and I also got the chance to preserve photos of women that worked during the World War II era. These experiences directly contributed to me getting the job that I have today because it taught me not only the skills to digitize and preserve uh, documents such as the ones that I was working with, but it gave me an idea of how people were interacting with documents um, in, a, in, in, in ways that were different from the way I was looking at it before. Um, I was more used to kind of you read a document and then you apply it into whatever narrative you're trying to craft or whatever argument you're trying to craft uh, for class. It was way different. Um, it was how people were immersing themselves in these documents to find an ancestor or even try to find a, a, a way to become like an Italian citizen or something along those lines. It it became very personal and I got to hear a lot of people's stories and that was very inspirational to, for me. Um, you know, I, I was lucky enough that after these experiences, I was able to interview for a job at the NYGMB since I had my foot in the door already. And I was lucky enough to get interviewed and I got hired as their digital collections assistant where 
I helped them digitize and, and preserve a, a whole bunch of record type uh, record types for people interested in their family history. And I'd argue without CSI's public history program, I, I wouldn't be at the NYGMB. So I'm very grateful for that. Uh, you know, for those that are thinking about considering the, the journey of public history, or if you're already on, on a journey of your own, my biggest piece of advice is to explore the field. Uh, check out what archivists and museum educators are doing. Review an exhibit or two with a friend. Go see historical sites around the city and try to see if they have markers. And if they don't, try to contextualize them with, uh, with the community that the site is in. And also, you know, experience what it's like to be on a walking tour. Those are those can be really exciting. In short, give yourself time to see what's out there. The journey isn't easy, but stick with it. Yeah, internships and networking will work wonders. It will take a while to build that, but just because the process is long and it can feel drawn out doesn't mean that the process has to be boring and unexciting. Be patient with yourself and Remember that CSI's faculty is more than happy to help when you need it. You know, I just hope if you continue to be patient, I'm sure you'll appreciate your time at CSI like I have.